Kathy Berman, Director of Programs and Engagement for True Care Home Care and our TrueBridge Memory Care Program. In this video, we are going to cover the topic of dementia and three helpful approaches that you as caregivers can do to help support your clients. The first and most important thing we would like you to understand is that dementia, Alzheimer's disease, and other cognitive impairments are caused by abnormal changes happening inside the brain. Many of these changes and symptoms that we notice in our clients are things that they cannot control. Some of the symptoms that you may see or witness may be memory loss, confusion, disorientation, depression, and feelings of anxiety, agitation, aggression, and apathy. These symptoms and changes for our clients are also challenges for us as caregivers. So it's important to recognize that many of these times they cannot control what's happening inside their body and their brain. So we shouldn't take it personally, but there are things that we can do to help support them, build trust, connections, and create purposeful days. The first thing we can do to support our clients is to empower them. One of the hardest parts about getting older, aging, and especially aging with dementia, is losing our independence and not being able to do some of the things that we used to be able to do. So it's important as caregivers that we recognize that. And we do things with our clients, not for our clients. We allow them to do what they can for as long as they can. And then we're there to help support as needed. It's important to stay present in their reality, even if their reality is inaccurate. And we do that by entering into their reality. Go with the flow. Be beside them. We can do that by actively listening, paying attention to what they're saying, their body language, and specifically the emotion behind the words and actions. Number two, we can support our clients by encouraging them. Encourage. Building connections and trust takes time. As caregivers and care partners, we often can beat resistance and experience challenging situations, especially as dementia progresses. It's important to know that if you meet resistance, wait five minutes, take a step back, reapproach, and try that at least three times. Our words and our actions matter. So try to avoid using the words no, or disagreeing, or quizzing your client. This can often cause a person to feel and get defensive. It's best to offer your support, try a friendly invitation, ask permission, and remember, your patients will only provide them with the comfort and reassurance that they need. The second thing we can do to get more yeses than noes is to offer choice. When you offer a person a choice, you allow them the opportunity to make their own decisions, to be a part of their care and what's gonna happen in their day. So for example, you can offer a person a choice of either or. Would you like something hot or cold to drink? Would you prefer to take a shower before dinner or after dinner? Would you like to go for a stroll to the park this afternoon or would you prefer to keep working on the word puzzle that we started together yesterday? I encourage you to try offering your client's choice in many different ways throughout the day. You'll start to notice a difference and that will make a difference for them as well as for you. Number three, engage. To support our clients is to engage our clients. We wanna create purposeful days with things to look forward to. So let's fill our time in between meals with meaningful activity it's important to create routine and structure in the lives of our friends living with dementia. So I want you to take some time to get to know who they are, where they're from, what they did for a living, 
what kind of music they like, what foods they prefer, what are some of their interests and passions. These are the things that you want to know. That will help you create some of the meaningful activity within your day. Keep in mind that having structured physical activity at least once a day is important. Going for walks, doing exercises, or range of motion. Keeping the brain and the body engaged creatively. Do something with your hands. Cook together in the kitchen. Play a game of cards. Fold laundry together. Paint. Stay creatively stimulated. And also keep our friends connected socially and emotionally to the friends, family, and things that they love. That will help inspire you and them to have more joyful days filled with positive emotions. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or concerns about your client, please contact your nearest True Care office. And if you'd like further information on dementia, please click on the videos below. Thank you.